Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make this beautiful St. Petersburg's circular bracelet. I'm showing it really easy step by step and I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make it by yourself. Uh, if you want to support me, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button uh, because in this way you will know when I release matching jewelries to the ones that I have already done, like I have a tutorial for uh, earrings matching this bracelet and I'm linking to them here at the eye icon and I also have uh, another St. Peterburg's uh, bracelet and I will also link it here. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description, you will find a full list of materials, a link to my store and a link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. You will also find links to Amazon where you could buy supplies from. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are three colors of 11 o seed beads. Here I use lobster's claw clasp and a jump ring. You could use any type of clasp you like. Here I use 8 millimeter pearls. And here I use Nemo beading thread that is 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeter and this is size O. And you could use other beading thread of your choice or thicker thread of the same brand. And here I use size 10 beading needle and scissors. Okay, and now I'm going to take about 75 centimeters on my needle, which is two and a half feet of thread. And I'm going to start. Okay, guys, and now I will start my work with the so-called St. Peterburg stitch. I showed you already this stitch. Okay, and now I'm taking one dark bead, dark brown bead on my needle. And what I want to do is attach it here at the end of my thread like a stopper bead, okay? And in order to do this, I'm making here a loop around my bead and then I will go in this loop and then go once, go second time to make another loop and pull, okay? And now I will go, I will start my work from here, okay? First, I'm going to take four silver beads and two red beads to start my St. Petersburg stitch, okay? Every row of the St. Petersburg stitch consists of four beads of two contrasting colors, silver, and metallic red, okay? Now, these silver beads will be my first row and I will go through two of them and I will make something like a loop between those two silvers and these two red beads that will be in my second row, okay? Now I have this and I'm going to take one dark brown bead, slide it down like this and I will skip it and I will go back through this, these three silver beads. And now I have my first silver row ready. Okay, and I'm going to take one dark bead and in my next step I'm going through these two red beads like that and pull okay now in order to finish my second row that consists of red beads I'm going to take two red beads and then I'm going to take two silver that will be used to start my third row okay now I'm sliding those beads down you see I have four silver beads so four red beads after my four silvers and these I will fold like this to start my third row okay I'm going through these two red beads here 
like that. And I pull and I push those beads to my other red beads, okay, like that and pull. And now guys, I have this, okay, and I will take one black bead, sorry, not black, but dark brown bead and slide it down. Then I'm going to skip it like I showed you before and go through these three red beads like that. Then I will take one more brown bead and go through these two silver beads in this direction, like that. And this is the beginning of my third row. And in order to finish it, I have, I need two silvers. And of course, I will also take two reds to start my fourth row with. Slide those down. Okay, like that. Then I will fold those beads like that and I will go through these two silvers here like I did before. Pull, pull tight, take one black bead, uh, one brown bead, sorry, and skip it and go through these three beads in that direction. Okay, and here I'm going to add my edge bead, okay, after these two reds, just like that. Okay guys, and I will continue with my work the same way. Every time I add four beads of my two colors and then I add stopper beads around them, okay. Slide those down, these silver beads fold them to your work like that. And pull, then take one stopper bead slide it down Go through these three beads in that direction. And take one stopper bead here. Okay guys. And continue doing this until uh, you have 11 rows and you start your 12th row. And I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and now I started my 12th row. This is my 11th row and this is my 12th row. And what I need to add here are only two red beads. Here I won't add silver as well because here is where I make my work a circle, close it into a circle. That is why I'm going to use silver beads from this first row. Okay, and now in order to do this, these second two beads that I added, I will attach and connect to these two silver beads here. Okay, I will make a loop between those two reds and two silvers. Okay, the first two silvers that I added. Okay. I go with my thread here, like that. And I will go around connecting them like I did before. Now I have this, you see, I have here a circle of beads, okay, then what I want to do is take one black bead, one uh, dark brown bead, sorry, okay, I have it here, and I will go through these three 
red beads like this. You see what I have. And then I will go back through this black bead here on my way. The very first one that I added. Okay. And then guys, in my next step, what I want to do is go here in this inner row and add some beads. Okay. And in order to do this, I want to exit through one of my middle brown beads. Okay. And as I'm exiting here from this silver, I'm changing direction and going through this brown one here. Okay. Now here in the middle, what I want to add is first I will start with a red bead because here I have a silver row and I want to make a checkmate. Okay. And I'm taking one red and go through this very first brown bead where my tail thread is and then I'm going to take a silver and go through the following brown And then again a red one, go here in the following, and I'm going to continue this by, by alterating a silver bead. And then a red bead. Okay guys, and now I added my last red bead here and I'm going to reinforce my work. I will go around through all of my beads one more time. Go through as many beads as you can in one movement. Okay, and go around one more time. Do this and I'll be back to show you how to attach your bead in the center. Okay guys, and what I did off camera is uh, that I went around one more time through all of those beads and I cut my tail thread. And now I'm exiting out of this brown bead and I'm going to put my 8mm beads here and slide it down. You see my thread is going in this direction as I'm sliding it down, okay? Then I will go through the opposite bead of my work, okay? This brown, I think this brown is the opposite. And I will go in the same direction where my thread is pointing to. Now I have it attached here in the middle. And what I'm going to do next is go here through this pearl one more time and go through this black bead here like that now my bead is attached but what I want to do additionally 
is to go reinforce here those beads around my pearl. Okay, and I will go several times around it by going back and forth until I feel this bead in the center stays nice, tight and secure and I'll be back to show you how to attach your clasp. Okay guys, and now I reinforced my bead to stay nice and tight in the center and because this is the first element of my bracelet, I'm going to show you how to attach your clasp to it, okay? And here... What I do is that I want to go through all of those silver beads and exit through my bead here, like that, in this direction. Okay, and then I'm going to take two silver beads. I'm taking my clasp. I'm going through it and I will take also two more beads, silver beads. Now this is what I have and I want to go through this brown bead here. Okay. And my clasp is attached. Okay, then I will go one more time through all of those beads reinforcing my clasp. If you can, go even two or three times around your clasp here. And now I'm going to make a knot by making a loop by going once, going second time through the loop I've made and I pull and in my next step I go in my following seed bead and I cut my thread and now this is what I have, the beginning of my bracelet is ready. And I will make one more element the same way I showed you, but I won't add a clasp to it and I won't cut my thread. And I'll be back to show you how to connect it to this one. Okay guys, and I did another element the same way like I did the first one. And now I'm exiting out of this brown bead. And what I want to take is one silver and I want to connect it to this bead. You see here I have, sorry, to this bead. Here I have one, two, three, four beads and these two that I'm connecting. And here I have one, two, three, four beads and these two that I'm connecting. So as I'm exiting from this silver bead here, I want to connect it to this one, okay? And in order to do this, I'm taking one silver and go here. Like that. Now you see what I have. I have one silver bead between my brown beads. And I'm going to take one more silver And I will go back through this brown one. And I will go one more time reinforcing them. Okay. Then what I want to do is go here in this row and reach my next brown bead. Okay, like that, and I will go through it. And what I want to do here is connect it 
to this brown bead okay and in order to do this I will take one silver go back through this brown take one more silver go back here and I will connect those beads like this and then in my next step guys I will go here through these beads and make a knot and cut my thread and I'm making here a loop going once going second time through the loop I've made pull go through the following seed bead and cut my thread okay and now I have my second element attached and I will do more and more elements and attach them and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you how to finish your bracelet okay guys and I'm here where I just connected my last element from this row and now what I want to do is reach this other part and connect my jump ring to it and I'm going to show you how to do this okay I'm exiting out of this brown bead and I want to go through all of those beads here Okay guys, and now I'm here. I'm four beads away from this connection. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four edge beads away from this one. Okay, and what I'm going to do is take five silver beads. Okay, I have my five here. And I'm going to take my jump ring. And I will go here through this black bead brown bead okay now guys what I'm going to do is go around these beads several times make a knot and cut my thread just like I did when I was here and I was attaching my clasp and my bracelet will be ready okay guys and now my circular St. Peter works bracelet is ready so if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas and you could also like share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action and if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials please share them on my facebook page that i post below this video i will be so happy to see your creations down there in description you will find a full list of materials links to Amazon where you could buy supplies from, uh, link to my store and a link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.